This is Tyler from Rehab to Fab Designs. Today I'm going to be walking you through a makeover on this antique dresser using Dixie Belle's new all-in-one silk paint. This was my first time using a synthetic brush from Dixie Belle. I was using the one inch brush and I really liked it. It's very similar in uh, feel to a Klingon brush. Um, it had minimal paintbrush marks. I like the short handle on it so it's not overly heavy and it was just a good size to be able to fit around my edges and I really enjoyed using it and I can see this being one of my favorite go-to brushes. This is also the first piece that I've used the new Dixie Belle silk line of paint on. I was also very happy with it. It goes on very smooth. It doesn't dry overly fast, so it gives you time to go back over um, and brush the length of the piece to make sure you don't have those excessive brush marks. So the benefits of using the silk line of paint are that it comes with a built-in primer so there's no need to prime your piece before starting your paint application. It also has a built-in stain blocker so that hopefully you won't have any of those ugly tannins that bleed through. And the other good thing about it is that it has a built-in top coat. So once you put your coat of paint on it, um, you can apply one coat or if you need to, you can apply two for good coverage. And then that should be it. There is no need to top coat it because it is supposed to be a durable finish that cures in 21 to 30 days. To prep your piece for paint before starting the paint application, you want to give it a nice scuff sand like you do all your pieces. This just helps with um, adherence of your paint product. You'll want to give it a good cleaning also, a nice thorough scrub down with some white lightning. And then also anytime you scrub a piece down with any kind of chemical degreasers or cleaner, you want to make sure that you wash it thoroughly afterwards until all your water runs clear and you don't want to leave any residue left behind that could cause um, issues with your paint adherence. If you're using the new silk line on a super shiny, super slick material such as laminate, plastic, or say a piece that has like a kind of high gloss shellac on it, you'll definitely want to scuff sand it and also want to consider adding slick stick to uh, help with adherence. As you can see here, when I'm applying my paint, I do apply it in smaller, shorter sections, working vertically. But once I get that whole area, like the width that I'm working on, um, painted on, I do like to drag my brush from top to bottom vertically um, in one long, smooth line just to smooth it out. And this helps to get rid of any paint lines that you might see. I did find this paint to have good coverage. I did end up doing a second coat just for added durability. And although it looks shiny right here while it's wet, it does have a lower light reflectivity. So it's gonna give you a more matte type finish that's popular with chalk style paints. Um, but just a little bit more sheen than that. But again, not like a high gloss. One of the things I like best about it is once my paint had dried and I ran my hand down it, it did not leave any marks on the paint. So if any of you have ever painted with black chalk style paint, you know that once you get the paint on and you just kind of run your hand across it to feel it to make sure it's nice and smooth, it'll leave kind of white marks on it just from like the oils and grease in our skin. Even though your hands are clean, it will always leave a mark. Um, and with this silk paint, it did not do that, which made me very happy because it's not going to show dirt and fingerprints like a chalk style paint will. Your 
Continue the same application process with your synthetic brush everywhere you want this new sip paint to be. Time for the reveal. I'm gonna peel off my blue painter's tape and um, check to see if we have any bleeds. The finish is very smooth as you can see in here. I do have a um, round light on that's shining on the piece so I could see better and um, it's a little bit damp still at the bottom but as you can see it's very smooth there's no brush strokes that are visible the paint um, stayed on clean when I removed my tape I had no issues with bleeding and it's just a really pretty finish it comes in 20 colors ranging from light whites and pastel colors to a few dark colors and if you'd like to try any of them out we'll drop our affiliate link in the description below we would love for you to purchase under that to support our business and just thanks for watching guys we really appreciate it have a good one